2020. Good morning, Kids Church. So excited to be back with you here again today. Who all out there likes ninjas? You know, growing up, uh, there used to be, I used to like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I always thought that was so cool, and I had the action figures, you know, and we you know uh, over the years I got like nunchucks and samurai swords. You know, ninja stuff is just something that fascinates a lot of people. And when you think of the word ninja, what do you think of? You know, like I said earlier, you're probably thinking about cartoons, comic books. You know, ninjas are just a really awesome thing, and they're probably a part of your life right now as well. You know, some people like the traditional ninja with the black outfit, black mask, the sash loaded with so many cool weapons. You know, ninjas carry everything from throwing stars to samurai swords. They move really quietly through the night and carry out missions without ever being Notice, you know, ninjas are cool because they're so secretive and so mysterious. You know, they move with stealth. They climb straight up walls. They can um, slip in and out of buildings without anyone ever knowing they were there. They wear cool masks. They hide in the shadows, and they work in secret. You know, there's another word that may come into mind when we think of ninjas, and that is wisdom. Like all warriors from the Far East, ninjas are trained to be wise, to be patient, to consider all the options to make the best choices. You know, ninjas may move quickly and strike quickly, but they don't always act quickly. They know all their options, they consider the consequences, and they make wise choices so they can fulfill their missions. You know, the Bible, it talks a lot about wisdom. You know, there's a book called Proverbs, and it's a fantastic book. And the book of Proverbs is all about wisdom. And with this book, we receive help on how to to make wise decisions. And we are going to learn how to make wise choices with ourselves. You know, today we're going to see that we have the choice to be wise or we could have the choice to be foolish. And we're going to see what God has already, uh, has already shown us the right path to follow. So if you're with me today, we are going to be in the book of Proverbs. We're going to be in chapter 14, verses 7 through 9. So let me get there real quick while you're flipping there with me. So there we go, guys. Proverbs chapter 14, starting with verse 7, reading to verse 19. So here we go. Go from the presence of a foolish man. You know, when when do you perceive him in the lips of knowledge? The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of the fool is deceit. Fools mock at sin, but among the upright there is favor. The heart knows its own bitterness, and the stranger does not share its joy. The house of the wicked will be overthrown, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way that seems right to a man, but at the end is always a way of death. Even in laughter, their heart may sorrow, and in in, in the end of mirror may be grief. The backslider in the heart will be filled with his own ways, but good man will be satisfied from above. The simple believes every word, but the prudent considers well his steps. A wise man fears and departs from evil, but a fool rages and is self-confident. Uh, um, a quick-tempered man acts foolishly. A man of wickedness, wicked intention is hated. The simple um, inherent folly, but the prudent of it are coward with, uh, with knowledge. The evil will bow before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteousness. So basically, you're probably wondering, what was all of that? So the writer of Proverbs was King Solomon. King Solomon is credited for being the author of Proverbs. He was known as the wisest man who had ever lived. Solomon knew that we all have a choice in this life. We can choose to act foolish, or we can choose to act righteous. You know, Solomon wanted to urge his listeners to choose the path of 
righteousness. Now Solomon reminds us that people who choose the foolish ways of the world do not realize that they are fools. They laugh and mock at people who choose God's way. But verse 12 makes it clear. There is a path that seems right to a man, but the end is in death. If we follow our natural desires to be sinful, guys, the road will lead to death. But if we choose to live a life of righteousness, we will find new life. Foolish thinkers are quick to choose the wrong way. They are quick to speak, quick to get angry, quick to make the wrong choice. But God wants us to listen to Solomon. He wants us to choose the path of righteousness. Now, righteousness is a really big word. And does anyone know what it means? You know, do, do y'all know what righteousness means? If you're here, I ask you, but we're kind of not here, but I'll tell you what it means. So righteousness is not just being right. It's being right with God. It means we are wise people. It means we make wise choices. It means we are honest and never deceitful. It means we obey God's word and love Him above all else. Righteous people are like ninjas because they never lose their focus on God. Just as a ninja lives by the ninja way at all times, staying sharp, focused on their mission, we need to stay focused on Jesus. We don't need to get distracted by the things of the world, the only the things that can corrupt us and make us foolish. You know, we don't need to rush to make foolish choices. We are to be slow to speak and quick to follow Jesus no matter what. You know, Solomon reminds us, um, reminds us that righteous, as righteous people, we cannot expect other, uh, we can expect others to mock us, to make fun of us. You know, they may make fun of us for obeying God, not no, and not going with the crowd. You know, that's the sure sign that we have made the right choice, and it should strengthen us to know our decision that we are choosing to be righteous people. In verse 15, it reminds us that wise people give thought to their choices while simple people will believe anything. Don't believe just anything. Never just follow the crowd. Trust in God. Trust in the Bible. Bury this book, guys. Take this book that's full of wisdom and bury that wisdom in your heart and let it be your guide. Don't be quick to anger or selfishness or foolishness. Ask God to make your make you wise like a ninja. Ask Him to help you become righteous. So, guys, I pray out that my prayer for you today is that you are living a life that is righteous and not foolish. But right now, if you have made foolish decisions, it's, it's so it's so it, it's not too late for you to get back on that path of righteousness. No, guys. Take His Word, read it every day, and bury it into your hearts. And not just read the Word of God, guys, but live out the Word of God as well. Guys, God bless. I'll see you next week.